Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, I want to share with you a video that was sent in by one of our family members, Simmerjink Singh. And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool video. Um, well, see what you guys think. I have my opinion on this. So it definitely looks like a, a real solid object. And let's go through that one more time here. I don't think it's a bird or anything like that up close. It doesn't move like a bird. There's no flapping of wings or anything like that. Almost appears as if it's tumbling, but I, I, I think that that's not really the case. seems to be moving at a very fast speed and to me if i had to lay money on it i would say this is one of ours because of the shape um i see it as a triangle what, what do you see cindy it does i mean if you were to stop it i would think it looks like a triangle thing yeah okay so he, he, he's going here at slow-mo and we'll pause it at a few okay so here it's a little bit blurry Maybe arrowhead. yeah it has that arrowhead shape I'm pretty sure to me I think we're looking at TR3B which we know uh, has been something that's been out there for quite a while and and like I shared so that does look like an arrowhead to me I shared with you guys back around 2000, um, probably 98, I saw one and watched it for 20 minutes. And it was only about two to three football fields overhead. And it was going about 10 miles an hour. You know, we were at the beach, just we were having our, our Friday night pizza at the beach, you know, which we used to do. And so these have been around for a while. There's all different sizes of these. The one I saw, I swear, was in between one and two football fields wide. I mean, it was huge. Huge. So I think this is one of ours. You know, I think uh, my personal opinion is President Trump did the space program thing. Uh, it's not that he's just starting it. It's been around forever. but just because we're getting close to that disclosure time. Yeah, I know. They can only cover it up for so long. Yeah, and you know, um it's if you if you look at Vedic history, it talks all about the Vimanas, you know, and there's there's been some high technology here. So here's one of the stills on it. Um it kind of distorts if we blow it up. So not not the greatest there. Let's try to see if we could put it colors and stuff. Just a little increase the clarity, right? And it looks more triangular there. Play with light and dark. Yeah, I think it definitely looks to me like it is triangular. Here it doesn't look quite triangular, but of course it's also moving. So we've got a few stills I took of it. So curious. I, I do think that we are going to get disclosure, and I expect it to be not straightforward. I expect it to be done in a manner that's going to hide truth, which, you know, that's what we typically get. And, of course, many people are waiting for the fake alien blue beam invasion. But, you know, when you look at it, if you look up Project Blue Beam, 
there's not really a whole hell of a lot of hard stuff there. Because I did. I was going to do a video on it, and the more research I did on it, the more I realized it seems like there's no solid basis for this whole thing. Really solid. It's a lot of, you know, hearsay. But it's one of those things that has taken shape. And so many things, you know, uh, that's in the public's mind that that comes out are not necessarily always ex exactly accurate. So interesting, guys. I'd like to hear your opinions on this. Again, if I had to bet, I would say this is a TR3B. As we see the slow motion one more time. Going by pretty damn fast. If it could transverse the whole length of the moon, of course it's relative. And this is what we uh, are looking at with a TR3B, if that is the case. Maybe it's not. But, you know, there's been thousands of sightings. And there's patents, too. I mean, they're right here. This is a Navy patent, TR3, uh, TR3B, TRB3. It's just... You know, it's one of the, one of ours, and now back engineered, perhaps. You know, that could be the case as well. But that's my gut. What was your impression? Because you, what what you are you getting the impression of ETs, or are you getting the impression of humans doing it? it it's more of a mechanical presence, you know, which could it feels like something between ET and human, maybe a, a more advanced species, but still on the human side. Okay. So I look forward to your guys' uh, thoughts on this as well. As always, thank you so much for your support over on Patreon and also Ko-Fi. We couldn't do it without you guys. God bless and namaste. Namaste.